theme to the day coverage today from Bowman Video Productions. We're here at Burley for Burley and Logan. Quite a good crowd here for this match. Umpire giving final instructions to the players. Okay, the bounce of the ball is about to take place for the first quarter, and it's gone up. We just missed the start of the uh, bounce, but uh, from the bounce, there's been a free kick awarded, and it's going to Logan to John Paul. John Paul Blackwell will take the kick. Around about the centre half, uh, or the centre position, gave it a Craig Cross. He kicks the ball down towards the forward line now, and there's a scramble of play down there as we wait uh, somebody to actually get possession of the football. No, no, seem to be right in the middle of the Bur Burley area here today. Quite a few people around. Ball's knocked forward by Michael down towards the pocket. Kicked off the ground there. And uh, could have almost been a free kick to uh, Logan down there in that pocket. And the umpire has awarded a free kick going down there. It looks like it will go to Alan Poppleton. Alan Poppleton will take the uh, kick. And... Uh, He's a fair way out. He's gone for a short pass, actually. He's chipped it across, and there's been a mark taken there by Robert Newey in the forward pocket. Went for the quick hand pass, but uh, it uh, got messed up. Finally, it's picked up by Craig Cross, who chips the ball across to the forward pocket where Michael Kirkwood's got the ball. He chips in a, a short little kick, and it's been marked by Danny Welsh in the forward pocket. So Danny's got the ball, forward pocket. And uh, he'll line up. He's on a pretty difficult angle here. He's, oh, he was going to go for the short pass. Umpire now says play on, so he has the kick. It goes in towards the uh, goal square. Burley trying to clear the ball. On the ground there, a player is caught in position and has been penalised. That player could have been Alan Poppleton. And the free kick going to Burley in the uh, back pocket position. There goes the kick to halfback flank on the ground. Knocked on there for Logan. Michael comes in. Michael Scott gets the ball. Has a left foot kick down towards the forward no, pocket. And the ball has gone uh, to a Burley player. Finally, Nathan's got it for uh, Logan. He's kicked smothered. And the ball now has been cleared away uh, from Burley. And the ball's going to all. Oh, there was a push. It should have been a definite free kick. There it is. And the free kick will go to Craig. Craig Cross at the uh, on the halfback flank position. So we're waiting for the kick from Craig Cross now. And uh, he'll take this kick at about half forward. Not the best of kicks. I think he was looking for the short pass there. Um, it didn't come off, of course. Finally, it's picked up and a hand pass comes out there uh, towards a Logan player, Alan Poppleton, trying to pick the ball up. He's caught with it. And the umpire has decided to give a free kick for holding the ball. And the ball free kick will go to number 10 from Burley. There's the kick now to the half-back flank. For Burley, ball's on the ground, picked up by uh, Michael Kirkwood, gets it across to Alan Poppleton with the kick, a left foot, and uh, a good mark taken down there by Robert Newey in the forward pocket for Logan. He's looking for somebody, went for the hand pass across, it's gone towards Michael Scott, Michael has a long kick in towards goal and it's offline, and it's gone through for one point. Right, so it's uh, first score of the match. We want the kick in. It's Logan one point. Burley yet to score. Kick comes in towards the halfback flank. Michael Kirkwood going for it. Picked up by Christian in trouble on the ground. No one can gain true possession. Uh, Quinton Wadley trying to pick it up. A real scramble of play in here in the forward pocket at the moment. The umpire is elected to allow play to go on. Finally the ball kicked a cross goal. Luckily, Orr has been marked by Burley, but he's played on. Could have been dangerous. Picked up by Christian Bowman. Has a right foot snap in towards goal. It looked pretty good. And it's gone through for a goal. So, uh, the scores will be coming up. There it is, Logan, 1-1-7. Michael hand pass out of the uh, centre. Gives it to Craig Cross towards Nathan. Nathan Bartolo, a hand pass. Not really a good one. Ineffective, kicked off the ground there by Michael Kirkwood. Goes towards the forward pocket position. Coming out was Danny Welsh. He taps the ball across towards uh, Poppleton. He can't pick it up. Finally, it's picked out of the pack here by uh, Danny Welsh. He has a shot in towards goal. It's not a bad kick by Danny. And it's gone through for a goal. Good play there. 
as Danny Welsh puts through another major for Logan. From the middle, up it goes again. Logan 2-1-13 lead Burley yet to score. From the centre, Michael Kirkwood trying to get the ball out. And the ball has uh, Burley player number one trying to get a little kick in there. It didn't really go far. Finally, it's picked up for Burley Heads. Not a good kick. It goes across the ground. And uh, there's a race for the ball. Craig Cross comes in, gets it. Oh, does a lovely turn there by Craig Cross. Moves onto the right foot. Kicks the ball down towards the forward pocket position. On the ground. No one can pick it up. Christian's trying. Can't get it. Finally uh, picked up there by Robert Newey. Robert moves onto the right foot. Has a bounce. Gets a kick in. It's a little one. Over the top. No one can mark it. Picked up by Poppleton. He kicks in towards goal. It's going down to the forward pocket. Picked up by Welsh. Tries to get onto the left foot. He's caught with the ball. And the umpire has said exactly that. And the free kick will go to Burley. Back pocket position. Burley kick out. Towards the uh, halfback flank position. Now is a race here for the ball. Where uh, number 12 for Burley got a little hand pass across to number 10. He tries a kick, only went about three metres. Back to number 12. The right foot kick is not good. It's right around the boundary line of the centre wing. Ben Monford comes in, gets the ball. Uh, gets, gets a small kick in as the ball was partly uh, smothered. Finally picked up for Burley and cleared out of the pack. John Paul Blackwell for Logan trying to pick it up. And uh, the ball is near the boundary line. And no one can gain possession of it here. As uh, a Burley player battles hard. John Paul tried for a hand pass. It went nowhere. Finally out of the pack goes Burley, gets a kick and a mark taken, but uh, the ball was touched, as you heard the umpire say. It goes out there from Stephen Day towards centre-half forward position. Number 10 for Burley comes in, gets a kick across. The ball goes towards the forward pocket position. No one can mark the ball, or it's really at half forward. And uh, number 24 for Burley's got it. Get a hand, got a hand pass out of the pack. Goes towards number 12, moves onto the right foot. Gets the kick out towards the centre wing. Ashley Dark running for the ball now. Trying to pick the ball up. It's racing towards the boundary line. It beats all players. It's gone over the line and out of bounds. Into the first quarter by about seven minutes. It's Logan 2-1 to Burley yet to score. Throw in now on the ground. Craig Cross uh, tried to get it out. Number 10 for Burley. Went for a little kick. Got a bit of a push, but no, the ball has been gone over the line and out of bounds. Will be thrown back into play. Early uh, go, uh, try to get the ball fo forward here. Kicked off the ground by Michael Scott. It's picked up by Quinton Wadley. Gets onto that favourite left foot. Kicks the ball towards the uh, halfback flank where Craig Cross gets it. Oh, nice little turn by Craig Cross. Gets the hand cr pass across to Christian Bowman. He beats a couple of opponents. Chips the ball in towards uh, Alan Poppleton, who takes a good mark. Good play by Poppleton. Gets it back to Christian. Another balk. Christian goes for the kick, but spoiled it all with a bad kick there as it goes towards half forward. Robert Newey coming in to pick the ball up. Oh, could have been a kicking in danger there. Play on, says the umpire, but the ball's going forward for Logan. It's picked up by Danny Welsh. A long hand pass goes out towards Stephen Berry, who has that familiar little uh, hop before he kicks it but the ball has been marked in the defensive uh, area by number 20 for Burley good uh, lead up of football there by Logan they moved the ball on well good teamwork and plenty of handballs around okay there's the kick now and a nice mark taken out here for Burley heads at half back flank waiting for the kick now taking a long time this fellow with the kick goes for it not the most impressive looking kicking style out towards the centre wing position, kicked off the ground by Burley for number 12, gets onto the right foot, chips one across, but the mark taken by John Paul Blackwell at uh, centre of the ground. Plays on, gets a little uh, kick across, looking for uh, Wadley, he can't get it. The ball's back towards the centre, John Paul again, try to get it out, got it towards Quinton. Quinton's trying to get onto his left foot, he's caught with the ball, umpire has called it, and a free kick going to Burley, and uh, Burley will take this free kick around about the centre of the ground. Strange style, he's decided to go crossways towards the uh, wing and Craig Cross takes the mark for Logan. Looks for the hand pass and finds it. Gives it to Alan Poppleton who's on the left foot. Poppleton kicks the ball down but marked there by number 24 for Burley at half back. 2-1 to uh, Burley yet to score. Good start for Logan. Oh, a nice mark there to number 15 for Burley, the big tall uh, representative player. There goes the kick. Out towards the centre wing position. Number 10 for Burley trying to get it. Gets it across here towards 17. Went for the kick off the ground. No one can pick it up at the moment. It's a scramble out here. 17 is trying hard. He gets it. Gets onto the right foot. A little uh, grubber kick towards uh, number 12 who has a kick. But that ball has gone very wide and it's gone over the line. And out of bounds in the forward pocket for Burley. Around about 10 minutes gone. First quarter so far here at uh, Burley. For this match between Logan and Burley Heads. 
They had a very interesting tussle in the first uh, game of the year, these two sides. Very close game. Finally, it's picked out of the pack for Burley by number 12, who had a snap in towards goal, but it's gone through for a point. As we await the kick in, 2-1 Logan to Burley, one point. Waiting for Stephen Day to kick the ball back. There's the kick by Stephen. It's a long one up towards centre half back. Wadley tries to kick it uh, off the ground. Uh, Failed to make contact. Craig Cross is going in for it. Finally, Wadley again. It's in the middle of a pack there. Knocked out of the pack now. N number 19 for Burley trying to get a kick. Little Michael uh, Kirkwood got a kick off the ground there for Logan. Um, number one's got it for Burley. Trying to get the ball clear. Picked up by number 15 for Burley. A long kick. Goes right in towards the forward position now. And the ball has gone out uh, in towards that pocket. Stephen Day comes out. He's uh, tackled, got rid of it though. Trying to gain possession again. Finally, Burley get a chance here. It's kicked by number 23 down towards the forward pocket. Danger here for Logan. The ball's in that 10 metre square. Logan desperately trying to get the ball out of that pack, out of that goal area. It's uh, still down there. Finally, Craig Cross gets it. Had no one there to help him. Um, it's near the boundary line now. It's picked up by number 12. Smothered there by Craig Cross. The ball goes over the line and out of bounds. As if Craig may have hurt his hands with that very good smother. There's the uh, throw in again. Michael Scott knocked it down. Craig Cross tried to get it back to him. Picked up by 14 for Burley. It goes towards the centre half forward position. And uh, Timmy uh, uh, Kruger going for the ball there's got it. Trying to get a hand pass out. Got it out towards Michael Kirkwood. Finally Quinton tries to pick it up. No one can actually gain a true possession of the ball as it's kicked uh, off the ground. Almost went through for a point there. Um, Stephen Day is battling hard out there. Um, there's not much he can do, but he decides to boot the ball off the ground. Stephen Day is a race for the ball now as Logan try to clear the ball out. Logan uh, finally picked up by Stephen Day. Stephen Day picks it up on the right foot, chips a little kick in towards the centre of the ground. Another race for the ball. Finally picked up by number 15 for Burley. His kick goes up towards half back. Burley going to get a chance again through number nine. He's having trouble picking it up. The ball is on the ground. A scramble is developing out here once again. No one can gain possession of the ball. Where number 12 comes in, went for the hand pass. He tried. Dougie Muir tried to get rid of the ball. No one can get it out of this pack. Somebody should finally, Michael Kirkwood tries with a little kick. He's trying hard to keep the ball along in front of him. Craig Cross gains possession. He'll probably have a bounce. No, he's gone for the little chip pass. He's looking there for Nathan Bartolo. He gets a lucky bounce. Nathan decides to take his opponent on. Goes for the bounce. Oh, he's messed it up. A shocking bounce there by Bartolo, lost the ball, a good tackle there, should be his free kick anyway for that good tackle on number 24, I think the umpire has seen it that way, and uh, he will take the free kick, Nathan Bartolo half forward, went, for the, went to play on quickly, he's looking out here and he's found a teammate in Michael Kirkwood there in the pocket, just out of screen at the moment, he goes for the kick in towards the, uh, or Stephen Berry it was, his kick goes in towards the uh, forward pocket. Finally, Robert Newey takes the mark, sends it in towards Christian Bowman. He's got the ball. He's looking for somebody closer towards goal, and he's found out there in the forward pocket. It looks like it's uh, Danny Welsh there, I think, uh, right in that forward pocket in an awkward position. Went for the hand pass. Nathan Bartolo called for it. Oh, he gives it back. There's three on one out here towards uh, Cross. Oh, they're messing this up. Danny's trying to get it. Tackled with the ball. The umpire said, dropped it. Golden opportunity wasted there by Logan City. Anyway, from the play on, picked up by Danny Welsh. Danny's got the ball, went for the hand pass, a good one to Nathan Bartolo. He has a kick in towards goal as a mark taken by Poppleton. He decides to play on, went three metres out, and the ball, the kick was a terrible one, and it's gone through for one point. Definitely should have taken his time. Two-two to one point. There's the kick in from Burley. Logan leading 2-2-14. Burley are one point first quarter by about 14 minutes, almost quarter time. Burley going to attack here through number 15. He's got the nice bounce of the ball. He's decided to have a, have a bounce, a bit of a run. He runs up towards half forward. That's the third bounce. Gets the kick across, looking for number 12 for Burley. But uh, a bit unlucky there, Burley, as the siren sounded just as the ball was going forward. 2-2-14, Logan, Burley one point, quarter time here at Burley. Good first quarter there by Logan, played uh, quite good football and uh, certainly had most of the play in the first quarter. 
Boys look quite well after their quarter. They don't look too tired. They've uh, put in a good effort. Okay, this is the sec quarter. As the ball goes up. Picked out of the uh, ruck by Stephen Day. Stephen kicks the ball down towards the uh, half forward line. Robert knew he's going in for it now. Robert's got it. Look for the hand pass across towards um, Lucas. And well done there by uh, Lucas Forrest who kicks the ball right in towards the forward pocket. But coming out was number 24 uh, for Burley. And uh, he uh, gets the ball, clears the ball away. Uh, but Stephen Bay's taken a good mark at centre half forward. Got a bit of a wind behind him here. Could be some sort of a chance to kick this. He's a fair way out. But Stephen is normally a very good kicker of the football. And of course he will be trying desperately to put this one through. Lines it up from about 35 metres out. It's sailing through. It's got through for a goal. Great goal there by Stephen Day for Logan. Ball up in the centre, Logan 3-2-20, Burley one point, second quarter, two minutes gone. From the uh, bounce up in the centre, no one can get the ball out of the pack. Finally, uh, Burley going to attack here through number 12, and his ball, uh, the kick there by number 12 goes towards half-back. Ben Montford coming through for Logan, gets onto the favoured right foot, chips the ball into the centre, but number 10's there for uh, Burley. Gets a kick, a nice little one, looking for number 23 who couldn't mark. And uh, we'll just wait and see. The ball has um, ended up in a pack, and the umpire, umpire Mackey, will bounce it up. There it goes, knocked to ground. Burley a chance to go forward this time. There's the kick. Oh, there's a good uh, mark there by number 17 for Burley. Half forward, he uh, decided to kick across the ground, which is a bit strange. It's come off, it's marked there by number 10, but he's no closer in. So we just await the. Uh, the kick now. Oh, it was a long kick there by uh, number 10, and it's got through for one point. Three, two, Logan, two points, Burley. From the kick in now, goes out towards the half back line. Craig Cross trying to gain possession. It's right out on that far side of the ground. It's a bit difficult to pick some of these players up as the umpire has found a free kick in this pack. And the kick is going out there to, uh, could be Timmy Kruger, I think, as he kicks the ball towards the centre wing position. Looking for Cross to pick it up. Having trouble there. Um, no one can actually gain the uh, possession of it at the moment that's being knocked along the ground. Finally picked up by... Um, Stephen Day, a good hand pass went out of the pack there to Alan Poppleton. He kicks the ball further field. It's marked there by Kane Keeble. He chips it across towards Nathan Bartolo, who's got a few metres on his opponent, but he was tackled near the boundary line there. Burley are trying to get possession of the football. Finally picked up by Nathan Bartolo again. He's decided to have a bounce. He's had one bounce. Gets a kick in. Right in towards the forward pocket position. And uh, Christian trying to get the ball out of the pack. He's trying hard. He goes, knocked the ball along in front of him. Can't pick it up, though. Having trouble. Uh, gets a hand pass out. Robert Newey coming in. Off the ground he goes with it. Gets a nice bounce. Gets a kick down there. Good play, Robert. In towards the uh, forward, uh, full forward position now. As the ball is right down there. Logan trying to go into attack. Uh, Danny Wells trying to pick the ball up. Burley player sitting over it. It's in the middle of a pack. Finally uh, coming out of the pack, trying for Logan. Was uh, Newey. He can't get rid of it. And the umpire is letting this play go on as the ball comes out towards the halfback flank out there towards uh, Lucas Forrest and number 24 for Burley. Number 24 for Burley has run in. He's uh, trying to pick it up. Uh, it was almost pushed and or grabbed. And the umpire is giving him a free kick there at halfback. There's the kick. He's found somebody. Oh, no, it just uh, didn't come off, but finally picked up by number 15. A long hand pass by number 15 out here uh, towards uh, Burley. But uh, the ball has been uh, uh, forced along that uh, centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. There's going to be a free kick going to Logan here to Kane Keeble, who chips a little pass across towards Michael Kirkwood. Michael Kirkwood with the ball, went about the centre. Michael's gone for a little chip pass in too. He was looking out there for uh, Poppleton, who couldn't get the um, gain possession of the football. It's kicked off the ground again by uh, Michael Kirkwood. Craig Cross comes in, gets it across here towards uh, Lucas Forrest, who's trying to pick the ball up. Number 24 for Burley gets it, gets a hand pass out to number 10. 
He goes very long for Burley up towards the uh, half uh, forward line. Burley heads get a chance this time to go into attack as the ball's kicked off the ground by number 12. He uh, runs in now trying to gain possession. He finally has got it. Gets a kick in. It's a hurried one. Goes in towards the forward pocket position. No one can gain possession here. Finally Ben Monford comes out with a hand pass. The ball was smothered. It's on the ground. Kicked away there by Burley Heads. They're in deep in their attacking zone. Burley Heads as number 15 picks it up for Burley. Kicks the ball in towards the forward pocket. Here's a chance of uh, gets the right bounce this kid for Burley. Number one went for the hand pass back to number 10 for Burley. He kicks the ball right down in towards the forward pocket position. Um, Burley Heads uh, right in their attacking zone here. Logan it could be in a bit of trouble as the ball is kicked out of the pack finally uh, Michael Scott tried to pick it up couldn't get it Michael's having awful trouble trying to pick it up he's lost it now as number 12 for Burley comes in he's caught with a football handed it across there to number 15 the umpire said he did that and I think it should be a Logan free kick we'll just wait as we check the score Logan a 3-2 and Burley at two points now the free kick here he is going to I think it's going to um, Logan City it is going to Ben Monford at centre half back. Right, there's the kick, but it's uh, once again uh, picked up by Ashley Dark that time for Logan City, but his kick goes astray straight to number 15, who boots the ball right back into the forward pocket. And there's a good mark taken by Ashley Dark in the back pocket. Ashley moves in with the kick. It's a very big one, it's about a 40 metre kick, 20 metres up and 20 metres down. It came off because Michael Scott took the mark at uh, half back. Here goes Michael Scott, a nice kick across towards um, Alan Poppleton, who's had a couple of bounces. A left foot chip kick in, but he kicked it to there was two Logan players and one Burley player, and the kick went astray straight to the uh, Burley player who kicks the ball across to number 15, being chased there by Cross. Number 15 hurriedly gets his kick back to number 10, who's having a good game for Burley, although that wasn't a very good kick. It's out towards the uh, centre wing position. Um, Michael Kirkwood was trying desperately to gain possession there. And the umpire said he got a bit of a push in the back. And uh, the uh, Burley player threw the ball away. So Michael will take the free kick uh, with a 15 metre penalty. Michael having a bit of trouble getting up. But uh, I think he's been told that he's got the free kick. So he's decided to get up. Very hard to see these players right out there on that outer wing. Anyway, the ball was, uh, the free kick was paid further downfield to Logan because of that indiscretion by the Burley player. Anyway, it's out on that outer side now as it's been uh, knocked in. And Burley heads trying to get the ball, but it's very close to the boundary line and finally it goes out. Nice day here at Burley, very uh, fine and sunny. Quite a bit of wind blowing to right of screen. Uh, they, that would be the end favoured by the breeze. But this very picturesque ground here at Burley heads. There's the throw in out there. Once again near the boundary line, a kick off the ground there by uh, a Logan player. Goes out. Burley Heads uh, played a very good game uh, the first game of the season against Logan. They scored 10 points to Logan's uh, three goals, seven. So uh, the kicking was astray that day. Not doing too much at the moment. Logan are well on top, but Burley are a side that never give in. And certainly they'll be desperately trying to get back into this match there's the score 3 2 20 Logan to Burley two points second quarter on around about nine minutes okay as the ball is in the uh, middle of the ground here's a chance now for Logan but the uh, handball was not good finally number one picks it up for Burley he kicks the ball towards center half forward Dougie Muir grabs one of the Burley players tapped back by Michael Scott in towards Michael Kirkwood who was grabbed umpire said no play on the ball comes out towards Quinton Wadley who tried to get a left foot kick but uh, the kick was smothered as uh, the ball is in that uh, centre of the ground area. Burley number 12 tried to get a kick. He couldn't get the ball away. A long hand pass came out of the pack. It was a wild hand ball out towards Ben Monford who got a bit of a nudge. And the nudge was in the back and Ben Monford will take the free kick. There's Ben Monford's kick now for Logan City up towards the centre. There's a nice grab there by Ashley Dark. Who's taken a couple of good marks today, although there's a free kick being paid in the meantime to Quinton Wadley. Quinton, a well-known uh, left foot player, likes the left side. There's the kick. I one too. It's a good kick for Quinton right up towards half forward. Uh, Logan trying to gain uh, possession here. The ball's in their attacking zone. Uh, Nathan Bartolo uh, knocks the, kicks the ball off the ground. Finally picks it up, gets a hand pass across to Christian. Christian's got to find somebody. There goes the kick. He's kicked it right in towards uh, Danny Welsh. Good kick. Danny Welsh takes the mark about uh, 15 metres out, straight in front. 
and uh, Danny has uh, he hears those instructions being yelled out to him has decided to take uh, take his time line it up from about 15 or 20 meters out looks good off the boot he's put it through for goal to Logan good passage to play there by Logan as they uh, add another goal Back to the centre again, it's 4-2-26 Logan, Burley two points, 24 point lead to Logan midway through the second quarter. From the ball up in the centre, Craig Cross trying to get the ball on the ground, kicked away by Burley Heads. Burley Heads um, trying desperately through number 12 to get it. He kicks the ball up towards uh, Doug Muir there for uh, Logan City. Doug Muir went for a long hand pass towards uh, Alan uh, Poppleton. The hand pass really wasn't that good. But finally, Ben Monford has taken a good mark for Logan at half back. He's looking for somebody. Yes, he's found a lead out wide there to uh, Timmy Kruger. He kicks the ball up towards the uh, centre wing position. There's a charge for it here. Number, oh, that could have been uh, holding the ball. Let's see what the umpire says. The umpire has come in and has decided to give a free kick for in the back. And Nathan Bartolo not particularly happy with that decision as he gently hands the ball back to number one for Burley. As umpire Mackey explains to Nathan exactly, in his opinion, what he did wrong with that tackle. It didn't look too bad from here. Okay, we'll just wait now for the kick. There it goes, a little short one. Didn't go far to number 15 for Burley. He kicks the ball in towards the half-forward line now. Burley heads uh, must try and score a goal here because uh, they have yet to uh, add one on the board. And they desperately need a goal as number 10 takes a mark. And uh, a little bit slow getting back into uh, position. This time he's tried to play on and handball the ball to the ground. Um, finally gets it back again. This time, unfortunately for Burley, the kick was smothered. Stephen Day comes in with a hand pass, but it's uh, intercepted there by a Burley player. The umpire said he, uh, he dropped it. Stephen takes the free kick at half back. Waiting for Day now. He's looking for a short pass. He chips the ball across to the centre and a nice uh, lead and mark there to Michael Scott. Michael moves on now, kicks the ball wide out here towards the flank position. Out towards Dark, Ashley Dark couldn't get it. On the ground, number 10 for Burley, kicks it off the ground. Whistle's gone, he could have got a bit of a grab there, number 10. Was grabbed and he's going to take the uh, free kick centre wing. There goes the kick now, and he's found number 15, plays on immediately with a long hand pass. It's out towards number 12, the kick was smothered down there um, by Brett Poppleton. Finally, number 15 gets a left foot kick, which must have gone all but two metres. Out towards number 12 again. He moves around, try to beat one uh, opponent, which he's done. Kicks the ball in towards the uh, full forward line. Here's a chance for Burley. It's picked out of the pack by number 23. As he has a kick in towards the goal position, it's got to be very close, but coming out nicely was Timmy Kruger. Timmy Kruger for uh, Logan clears the ball well. Out towards the uh, half-back flank. There's a charge for it out here into open spaces. Burley's got a chance to go back into attack as the ball is driven forward, but not very good, not a very good kick, and little Michael Kirkwood takes the mark at half-back for Logan. Siren sounds, there it is, half-time, 4-2-26 to Burley, two points. Half-time here at Burley Heads. Coach there giving final instructions to his players. Right now, the third quarter about to commence. We'll just check those score for you in a moment. We'll have the uh, score on screen in just a second to let you know exactly what the score is in the third quarter as the ball has been bounced up now. And uh, Logan going into attack finally through uh, Stephen Day. And Stephen Day kicks the ball right down towards the uh, to Danny Welsh. Danny Welsh went for the hand pass or just a little bit short looking for uh, Stephen Berry. Welsh was grabbed. The umpire said he uh, dropped the ball when he was tackled. And uh, Burley will take the free kick in the back pocket. Always oh, kicked the ball across goal. It's a dangerous sort of a kick, but it's come off for Burley. And the mark taken back there by Burley heads in defence, looking for number 24. Tried very hard, just couldn't get the final grab. Finally, Kane Keeble tried to pick it up. He was grabbed. Now, the umpire has said that it's a free kick to... Uh, I think he's giving it to Burley. Not too sure really what that was for. I don't think Kane did much wrong then. Number 24 for Burley will take the free kick. Kicks the ball. Not a good kick as it goes straight towards Craig Cross. Craig Cross is looking for a short pass and he's found somebody, he's found Kane Keeble. Kane Keeble is quick, looking down there for Stephen Berry, but uh, he couldn't mark the ball, there's Burley clear. 
towards Brett Poppleton for Logan City. This under-11 player was grabbed without the ball and uh, he will take this free kick at uh, between the wing and half forward flank for Logan. There's the kick by, oh gee, that didn't go very far by Brett Poppin. And actually it went probably no more than five metres. So uh, Burley had a chance to clear the ball through number 24, but the hand pass wasn't good. Goes towards Ben Monford. He kicks the ball back towards the uh, forward line. Burley once again pick it up, kick the ball very high. No one can mark it. Kane Keeper went for a fresh air shot. And there's a real scramble has developed out here towards the wing. Burley have tried to clear the ball and have done so now. We've got the run of it, uh, Burley Heads, as it goes towards the centre wing position. Out towards the broadcast side of the ground where Michael Scott cleverly knocks the ball back, but he's having trouble picking it up, Michael Scott. As number 10 for Burley comes out with the football. Gets a little bit of a chip kick in. Craig Cross and number 10 is Shepherds. Um, Burley uh, through number 17, almost threw that across to number 10. He gets a kick uh, for Burley Heads. It's wide, racing towards their... Uh, forward pocket position picked up by John Paul Blackwell who decides to center the ball across the goal which is a dangerous move and he didn't really kick that to anybody on the ground now Burley pick it up there's the kick by Burley heads in towards the forward pocket position and uh, it's near the boundary line and the uh, ball has beaten the players it's gone out on the uh, forward flank throw in now to ground there it goes and uh, finally it's uh, Tapped further towards the Burley Heads uh, goal line. It must uh, try and score something here as number 12 picks it up for Burley. Has a kick in towards goal. He's put it through. And that's the first major for Burley Heads. And they're right back in it now with that goal. Four two twenty six 26 Logan. one two eight 8 Burley. 18 points the difference. We've played about four or five minutes now into this third quarter. From the ball up it goes. We await uh, for somebody to gain clean possession. Nobody can get it uh, at the moment. We've got a, a kick off the ground there. 24 for Burley is coming in. Gets it across towards uh, 15 who goes for the kick. And uh, Brett Poppleton uh, dropped what he should have taken there. Out towards Christian Bowman. Went for a uh, kick but it was a hurried kick. Got no distance with it. Um, finally it could have been a high tackle there to Kane Keeble. He'll take this free kick at uh, half back. Kane Keeble, usually a pretty reliable kick. The sides, uh, he's, he's looking for somebody out here, looking for towards Craig Cross, but just couldn't uh, get the uh, possession there, Cross, as the ball is uh, on the ground now. Nathan Bartolo is clear. Went for the hand pass to Stephen Day. Stephen Day balks a couple of players. He's chipped one in, and it's, oh, yes, it's come off to Robert Newey. Just pay that, says the umpire, Robert Newey of the ball. Uh, Robert Newey has got it at half forward. Uh, quickly plays on, kicks the ball right into the pocket. Who's there? And there's a mark, is it? Yes, there's a mark to Stephen Day for Logan. And Stephen... Oh, Michael Scott calling for the handball here. Stephen Day's got it. Yes, he's seen Michael Scott. Gets the handball across. Michael walks one, runs in towards an open goal, and he's put it through. Good piece of play there by Logan City as they put on, put on another goal. Back to the set. Logan now skip away again. 5-2-32 to Burley. 1-2-8. But Burley get a chance to go forward again as they're kicking the ball right up towards their forward line. They desperately need goals in a hurry, Burley. It's up towards the uh, forward uh, pocket position. On the ground, tapped out there by Alan Poppleton. Not really a good hand pass. Picked up by number 12 for Burley who has a kick in the woods goal. But it's just uh, offline and through for one point. And a golden opportunity then, Burley, to uh, score. Or score a goal. They're 1-3-9 to Logan 5-2-32. Now the ball is uh, right in the attacking zone there for Burley Heads. They've got a big chance again to uh, score. And they must add goals if they wish to get in back into this game. Finally, uh, Brett Poppleton gets a kick there for Logan. His kick goes out towards the wing. Um, overrun there by Craig Cross. It's got to be a ball up here as two players fight for the ball. Burley Heads, of course, this quarter are kicking with the breeze. They trail now by 23 points, so they must score goals in a hurry. There's the knock, uh, the uh, throw up on the ground. Ball reaches the ground, knocked on by Michael Scott. Oh, there's a push in the back. Bad tackle there by Ben Mont, but Burley take the free kick number 21 at half back. Nice looking drop punt as he drives the ball forward into the... Uh, oh, there could have been a mark. There is to Burley Heads. He's played a pretty good game, this kid number 12. And... Uh, 
He's one of their top players. I can recall him uh, at Logan playing a very good game early in the year. There's the kick. Oh, good, good strong mark in defence there by, uh, by uh, Doug Muir. Now, Doug's not the best of kicks normally. Let's see what he does with this one. No, it's not a very good kick either. Goes up towards centre-half back. Finally, number 14 for Burley. Gets the hand pass to nine. Number nine has a left foot kick as a mark to Burley. Well, there's a chance here. As Burley heads, number 16 has got the ball about 25 metres out. And he'll be looking to put this one through. And it looks pretty good from here. It's gone through and Burley come back. Right back to the centre it goes. Burley a 2-3-15 to Logan 5-2. 32, 17 point difference. Craig Cross out of the middle. Kick smothered. Out towards the uh, forward line. Uh, finally it's um, Bartolo I think it was trying to get a kick in there. He got the boot in towards the pocket. Burley heads uh, have defending and uh, they're going. They're playing a bit better so far in this third quarter. Burley heads as number 15 has a bounce. Went for the left foot chip and oh it just didn't come off to number 23 he's tackled he lost the, the, the possession of the football he's still trying to get the ball though got a little kick in towards number 12 number 12 gets it across to number 14 and number 14 for Burley drives the ball forward Burley go forward again this is a big chance for them it's on the ground John Paul Blackwell battling hard for Logan City it's picked up by number one for Burley has a kick in towards goal but it has just gone over the line and out of bounds deep in the forward pocket for uh, Burley Heads. They're in attack and they're coming back into the match. There's the uh, throw in. Finally now it's picked up here by Burley. Oh, Mark, a golden opportunity missed, but it's picked up here. Could be a goal, it is. Snapped out of the pack, I think it could have been, but 12 for Burley and it went through for a goal. So we'll just check the scoreboard. There it is, Burley 3-3-21 to Logan 5-2-32. Uh, an 11-point lead to Logan after leading by something like 26 points, I think it was, early in this quarter. Right. As we wait, uh, once again, Burley looked like going forward through number 24. He can't get it, though. Uh, another Burley player picks it up. Kicks the ball across towards the uh, wing position. And they're clear. There's the kick towards Doug Muir, though. Doug Muir gets it to Ben Monford, but he got a hand pass out. Ben Monford knocking it on. Free kick got to be to Ben Monford for a push. He'll take the kick, Ben Monford. He'll look for somebody. He's gone for a little chip kick around the flank. Who's there? No one. 21 marks there for, uh, for Burley Heads. Up they go. It's on the... Uh, no one can get the mark here as Burley go uh, into attack again. Out towards the uh, half forward line. The crowd getting very excited here. We're right in the middle of the uh, Burley supporters. As it goes in towards the forward line, but John Paul Blackwell takes the mark for Logan. He should bring the ball out to this flank. Um, let's hope he doesn't centre it. Oh, he's gone for a centering kick again, which is not good. Burley get a chance to come back into attack as it's rebounded immediately. On the ground it goes, knocked forward by Muir. Picked up by number 10 who has a kick in towards goal for Burley. It's swinging around but not far enough. And it's gone over the line. Or it may have gone through for a point. Yes, it's got through for one point. There's John Paul Black off the kick in. 10 points the difference. A 10 point margin to Logan. They led by 28. Burley have whittled down that, uh, that lead. And once again, the ball has been uh, knocked over the line and out of bounds with the locking it into their forward line. And the whistle's gone here. Oh, I think the umpire was just telling the uh, Logan trainer to get off the field. Very technical umpire, this fellow. There's the throw in. Umpire has said, I don't know if you heard that or not, too long he held that football, so Ben Monford takes the uh, free kick. He's chipped it across towards Kane Keeble, who's taken the mark at half back. Kane tries to play on, or oh, got the kick in hurriedly looking for a cross. Craig Cross trying to gain possession, he's got it in trouble. Went for a quick hand pass to Poppleton, and picked up by number nine for Burley. Oh, they're really uh, playing determined football in this quarter, Burley heads. Out towards number 12, kick smothered. Desperately trying uh, to uh, get another goal, Burley heads. Uh, the ball is right in their attacking zone. 
comes out of the pack to number nine. It's right in the woods, the uh, about three metres out. Timmy Kruger gets a little kick. Craig Cross gets a hand pass out. Oh, could have been a high tackle there to Burley, not paid. Picked up by number 12 for Burley. Has a kick in towards goal. I think he's put it through. Yes, he has. And that was the quarter, third quarter siren. So we'll just check the score now. 4-4-28, Burley, Logan, 5-5. Uh, five, five. So we have a five-point margin as we start the last quarter. There it is again, 4-4-28. Burley heads to 5-2-32, Logan. So sorry, a four-point margin to Logan City. Logan lead by four points. Uh, out of the middle it comes. First goal, very important this last quarter. Logan first into attack. As the ball has gone towards uh, Robert Newey, gets a kick across towards Christian Bowman, who's overrunning the football. He's tripped up. Oh, he lost the ball there on the ground. It's a scramble of players trying to get it. Picked up by Christian, has a kick in towards goal, but uh, just didn't swing it far enough. It's gone through for a point. Five point margin to Logan City as the kick in. Goes out to that outer flank. Number 15's got the ball, he just bumps Craig Cross out of the way. He's a big fella, number 15. Goes the kick and it's Burley the side going to attack now. Bounce of the ball, very important here. Burley go up through number 12, he's had a bounce. Long hand pass across. Oh, the fumble there could be costly. Picked up by number one for Burley, grabbed with the ball. Off the ground it goes, but it's going towards the Burley uh, forward line. They're trying desperately now. They trail by only uh, five points. And uh, this should be a thrilling last quarter as it goes towards the half-back flank. Right out there towards the uh, wing position, being forced forward by Logan City. Somebody's trying to pick it up out there. Could be Michael Kirkwood. Gets a little kick in, didn't get much distance with it as the ball is tapped forward there by Burley Heads. A hand pass comes out. No one can uh, get it out of this pack. Finally, a wild hand pass comes out, but it doesn't really go to anybody. Could have been a free kick there to Burley. Umpire's letting this play go. Um, chance now for, uh, could be Scott for uh, Logan City. Gets it across towards Nathan Bartolo, who's got 10 metres. Nathan has a bounce. Oh, he's messed it up. No bad play there by Bartolo. That was a golden opportunity for Logan to get possession and get the ball deep, but he went for the bounce, messed it up, and... Uh, they uh, could be in a bit of trouble here, although they're going forward now through Keeble. Keeble with the mark for Logan City. He's found a player in the pocket out here. It could be um, Stephen Berry or Michael Kirkwood. Michael Kirkwood's kick goes up towards Danny Welsh in the forward line. Welsh has got it. Oh, he could have been pushed there, Welsh. Umpire has said something. It's no, he's paid holding the ball. Tough decision. And the free kick going to Burley. There's the kick. Out towards the uh, outer flank it goes again. And Logan City, of course, uh, desperately need the next goal. Well, I reckon uh, the next goal is vital in this game. As you can see, the score, it's 5-3-33. The 4-4-28, Logan by five points last quarter. Out towards Christian Bowman now. Christian's got it. He's looked for somebody. He's found us, uh, little Stephen Berry. Stephen Berry dropped the mark. Dropped what he should have taken, Stephen Berry there. Here's a chance now for Burley as uh, the, the ball is in the centre. Picked up by Christian Bowman again. This time he's chipped it across looking here for... Um, Welsh couldn't mark the ball. Stephen Day's got it. He's trying to run around opponents. He went for the long hand pass. The hand pass is on the ground. Oh, could have been kicking in danger. Picked out of the pack by Danny Welsh. He couldn't get a kick. Number 24 for Burley's got it. Kicks the ball back towards the half-back flank. There's a race for the football. Coming in now. Oh, good shepherd by Christian. is picked up by Robert Newey. Newey kicks the ball in towards the forward line. Racing towards the line, and it's gone uh, over the line. Out of bounds, and it's very deep in the forward pocket for Logan City. They lead by five points. Last quarter, five minutes gone. There's the throw in. Ashley Dark, oh, tried for the over-the-head kick. Play on, says the umpire. Punched out of the pack by the Burley player. A few of the players there calling for a deliberate, but that ball uh, will be thrown back into play, I think. Well, the umpire may have bounced it. I'm not sure what happened there. The ball has uh, gone to the other side of the ground. And uh, we just lost that uh, ball for the moment. I think Logan may have scored up. They did. The ball has got through for a point. So that brings it to exactly one goal the difference. Logan lead by six points. 
as uh, Timmy Kruger's in trouble. Oh, gee, he was caught just a little bit too long, Timmy Kruger. And uh, he's been uh, penalised here. There's the kick. Burley going to attack. A goal the difference. Logan by six points. Picked up by number 10. This time it's Burley's turn to go forward. Not towards the wing. Oh, he could have been tackled with the ball. The umpire said he tried to get rid of it. They're desperate now, Burley. They've been behind all day, but they're coming right back into it with only a goal in it. Number 12 picks it up. Oh, tackle with the football. And the umpire has said what? It's a free kick to Michael. Uh, I don't think you can do that, Michael. Free kick to Michael Scott. As he has to go back behind the mark and take the, uh, take the kick. Michael Scott goes for the chip pass out towards uh, Cross. Craig Cross is clear. Went for the hand pass across to Christian Bowman. It wasn't a very good hand pass. Christian can't get it. Burley now get a chance to go forward. It goes out here towards the half forward line for Burley Heads. And uh, oh, could have been a free kick there. And there is. It's going to Burley. And Burley going to attack through number 12. He looked for a player out there. Number 14's got it. He's grabbed with the football. The umpire has said what? Caught with the ball. A good tackle there by Cross. As a uh, nice mark to Christian in the middle. Could go long. Have a look for somebody. There's the kick. Right up towards centre half forward. Yes, a good mark to Kane Keeble. Logan going forward well. Keeble looking. Chips one in. Nice one towards Stephen Day, centre half forward. Stephen Day in two minds, whether to play on or what. There's the kick by Stephen Day. It is a long one. In towards the uh, forward line. Out towards Danny Welsh. Danny's trying to pick it up. Stephen Berry went for a hand pass, but he was handballing it to nobody. Burley trying to get it out of there. Finally, kick comes out of the pack. Stephen Day trying to pick it up for Logan. Oh, he's tripped up there. And he should take the free kick and does. Plays on quickly. Oh, he's in trouble. He's caught. And uh, Burley take could be a costly error. Burley take the free kick. A goal the difference. Burley heads in possession. Left foot kick. Out to half back. Number 14 for Burley. Fighting for the football. He's finally got it now. And uh, runs on. Has a bounce of the football. He's clear. Got a hand pass across to number 24. And number 24's uh, got a hand pass again, but it's not a good one. Burley heads though, they've got it past the centre. It's picked up here as they go to attack again. Burley heads towards centre half forward. Muir went up, couldn't mark the ball. Picked up by number 12, kicks the ball in towards the forward line. It's getting down there gradually, but moving uh, towards the forward line for Burley heads. They're in their attacking zone. The uh, ball is in the middle of a pack out there. Who can gain possession? It's a vital grab of the football here. Burley get it, kick the ball towards the forward pocket position. Number 12 racing for it. In there for Logan Heads with Logan City was um, Ben Monford, but finally picked up by number 12. He has a bounce. Oh, he's running in towards goal. The kick is a vital one. Three bounces. There's the kick to level it. The kick in towards the pocket. It's near there. Picked up by a Burley player, had a snap, but I think it's got through for one point. And that could have leveled the scores. A point to Burley as five points the difference. You check the score, it's 5-4 Logan. 4-5, Logan by five points. The ball is towards the halfback flank for Logan City. I think the umpire may be going to bounce this one up. Last quarter of this exciting game here at Burley. There's the uh, ball up. Out towards the uh, Burley, uh, number 12. Burley heads going to attack very hard to pick him up out there. Umpire has given a free kick to Logan out here. And the ball's going towards Stephen uh, Day, I think it is. There's the kick. He's looking for a short pass. And uh, a mark has been taken out there by... Uh, Cross, but he is caught with it again. And uh, could have been a costly error, that one. Now the umpire is going to give a 15-metre penalty. Kicks the ball in towards the forward line. A mark spilt there by Logan City. 
as the ball is uh, deep in the Burley attacking zone. It's picked up by number 12, who has a kick in towards goal. It's got through, and Burley have hit the front. Burley have hit the front by one point. It's 5-5 five, five to 5-4. Five, that should be 5-5-35 five, five, to 5-4-34. Five, so Burley in front by one point. And let's just see what these, what's happened here. The umpire, there's some uh, confusion about the centre square. The umpire saying that uh, even though a player did run into the centre square, that's not, uh, that's totally legal, which of course is not right. Only four players are allowed in the middle. A Burley player went over that middle square, and the umpire decided to disregard that uh, rule at this very crucial time of this last quarter. Strange one that. Probably more will be said about that one. All right, Burley in front by a point. They trail by 28 points midway through the uh, second quarter. And now they lead by one point. They go into attack again. And uh, Logan City need desperately to get the ball to the forward line. It's out to the wing. Craig Cross has got it. Cross with the ball. Kicks the ball in towards the half forward line. There's the mark there. Taken there by uh, Robert Newey in the centre. He must find somebody with this kick. There's the kick by Robert Newey. It's a good one, right up towards the forward line. A mark taken by Kane Keeble. Keeble with the ball, only a couple of minutes left. There's Keeble's kick, he's looking for the full forward. Danny Welsh, and he's taken the mark. Strong punishment there, but Danny Welsh stood his ground and has taken the mark, but he's a long way out. Comes in with a kick, a torpedo kick from 35 metres out, and it's got through. And Logan City are back in front. Oh, what a match. Logan City in front. Right, we check the score again. 6-4, Logan City to 5-5, Burley. Five-point lead to Logan City in the dying stages of the last quarter. From the ball up in the centre. It goes out towards the Burley player, it's number 12 and Burley are going to go forward. Wide it is on the wing. Possession is very important at this stage of the game. Finally coming out now towards number 12 for Burley, a long hand pass goes across. Oh, there's the kick, Burley going to attack, the kick didn't go far. That could have been a big uh, vital mistake for Burley. Then towards the uh, centre of the ground, Christian with the football. Oh, jumped into his back and he should take this kick. He's at uh, half-back flank, and he'll probably put a big torpedo into this one. With um, Logan have got to get the ball right down to the other end of the ground. They're in front by five points. There's the kick. It is a torp. Goes long. Oh, good mark there to Keeble. Keeble's got it in the centre wing position. Keeble's kick all a little bit off the side of the boot. Goes towards the centre of the ground. Newey comes in. Picked up there. Trying to pick it up. as 24 for Burley. He gets a hand pass out on the ground. Umpire's blown the whistle, it's a free kick. And it's going towards Burley heads to number nine. They trail by five points. Time running out, he's gone across goal. It's marked there by number 15 for Burley. There's the kick, oh, it's well smothered by Stephen Day. A vital possession messed up there by Burley. It's on the ground, Craig Cross comes in, the hand pass comes out. It's out on the wing, Logan wasting valuable time trying to smother it up, but there's the siren. And it's all over and Logan have won it. 6-4-40. To Burley, 5-5-35. And a very exciting game it was as Burley came right back into it in that uh, third quarter after trailing by 28 points at one stage of the game. They've come right back into it and uh, actually hitting the lead with two minutes to go by one point. But then we had that uh, great uh, passage of play in which the full forward for Logan, Danny Welsh, took a great mark. Uh, from 35 metres out. He was strongly tackled as he took the mark, stood his ground, lined it up and put it through. And uh, that uh, gave Logan the lead once again. And the boys were able to hold on after that one to take to uh, score a victory by five points. And a very exciting game here at Burley today. Uh, two very evenly matched teams. As the uh, boys gather for the... Uh, after match celebrations, you can see us a few, quite a few of the happy uh, young lads out there from Logan as they're trying to break into their uh, theme song. And a few new players at the club 
would not have heard that song too many times before. And it's good to see that they've come off uh, today with a very good win. And they're coming off uh, as a very happy group. It's a top game of football. And uh, we hope that uh, you've enjoyed the telecast here. Coming to you live from the Burley Heads ground this afternoon. So as we wrap up uh, from Burley, we'll just repeat the uh, final scores again for you. And the uh, score for the game today, final scores, is Logan City uh, 6, or Logan City is 6-4-40, defeated Burley 5-5-35. On behalf of Bowman Video, we wish you a very good afternoon.